What is going on everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So this video, I'm gonna get straight to the point, is about my EasyGo golf cart. Um, if you look on various platforms, a lot of people will do this conversion, the same conversion that I did. When I first got my EasyGo golf cart, it's a 36 volt, so it had six six volt batteries. They were shot, they were done for. Being that it's a privately owned golf cart, stock tires, stock motor, I don't you know take it off-roading, gravel roads, up the hills, just basically flat land, um, you know, nothing too crazy, right? I decided to do a, a very common conversion, which is taking three Group 31 deep cycle batteries, uh, wiring those batteries in series, making 36 volts. If you had a 48 volt golf cart, you would add another four battery setup. But long story short, when people make this conversion, everybody raves about, yeah, it drives great, all this and that, but nobody actually replies back with the actual mileage. Now, the first test that I did is not real ideal, I'll say, just because it's winter, the golf cart sat for basically two months in between this whole test, and it's it was very, very cold on top of that, which is not ideal for the batteries to begin with. So what I did is when I uh, fully charged my batteries, we'll say about two months ago, I um, set my trip on my phone, which is very accurate, and I was able to get just over 10 miles to a full charge. And of course, my guess and my estimate that during the summer, during warmer weather, I'll probably get close to maybe 15, 12 miles to a full charge, just out of the three batteries, which is not that bad if you really think about it. Now, I am planning on adding at least two more batteries, and they'll be Group 24 deep cycle batteries. Uh, right now, I actually have a fourth battery in there, but it's just a standalone battery. It's not wired into this 36 volt system. It's just there for the LED light and also for uh, my little sound system that I put in. A couple of things. It's not ideal to use your stock uh, easy go or whatever uh, golf cart you have battery charger because it will overcharge the batteries uh, when you convert to this three or four battery conversion it's always better to do a like a standalone type trickle charger three bank or a four bank which I'll be doing I have one from my old boat um, that way the charge is nice and even but at the end of the day 10 miles just over 10 miles battery meter was perfect showed exactly how much battery life I had and uh, with, let's say, five batteries, I'm hoping to get anywhere from 15 to 20 miles to a full charge, which I think is pretty decent, considering that, you know, it's a very cheap option compared to buying, you know, deep cycle golf cart batteries, which can run up to, you know, $2,000 if you go lithium. Stay tuned for a warmer weather test.